Welcome to Pitching with Buck. I'm back. Fuck back. Oh, I'm all bent out of shape, too. Damn it. Can't believe. Well, here's something that you need to understand. <clears throat> I'll never do this again. You know, <clears throat> I like my gear a certain way, and it all depends on how they get laid out. I know where I'm going to fish. I know the spots I'm going to go at. I lay my gear out in the seven positions accordingly, so they go in. It's quick and easy for me to know by looking at my rod stand what what stick I'm missing, which one's not there. All right, well, I, I'm anal about that. All my heavy gear is down at, on the right. You know, seven, six, and five is my heavy gear. Well, I had heavy gear saved there. I had all my light gear because I changed out from fishing, club fishing, and we were going to do this. Well, I got out of the game, came back in, just, yeah, man. And uh, it, Fishing Planet decided to just move all my gear into the first three positions because they were, the first four positions were empty. I didn't want them up there. Why did they take it upon themselves to move my sticks in a position I don't want them at? No, I ain't going to sit here for 20 minutes moving them freaking rods around. Pissed. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Buck? All right. Let's get over here. Let's get fishing. I'm not going to complain about this. We're here to go on a fishing trip. It's killing me. All right. Let me go over here. I got to get the damn... Oh. Where's where's Hangout with Buck at? I don't even know where that is now. There, Nobody's even over there yet. So that's no big deal. All right. Discord... Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Discord server is open, guys. All right. <clears throat> Let's jump over here to this disaster. All right, there we are. All right, well, first, let's try to make this as fast as we can. We'll just use templates. I'm not going through nothing tonight. Templates, go get my... Gotta have... We're going over there. We need... You know, we're going after the Linux... Uh, we're gonna take this guy definitely. So we got an Omni float. I, you know, you know me, guys. If you watch my videos and been with me for the last year, you know I don't go nowhere without an Omni float. So that's the way that is right there. And then the next guy, <clears throat> dang it, Buck. The next guy we want in line is the jig winner. We want a small, at, you know, Omni float wide float rod, small float rod, small fish. Around the rocks, everywhere there. Perfect. That's a seven and a half pound rod. That's what you want to take with you all the time. All right, now you need a small spinning rod. All these all these fish, they ain't over 13 pounds. So you want something right in this. This jig winner is perfect. You can throw it a country mile. Um, it doesn't matter if you're on shore or in a boat. Um, just make, you know, just check up on yourself because you could, this, stick will, this stick will throw. I mean, you'll be in, the, you know, if you don't know what you're doing right off the bat, you'll be in the bank in the woods. All right, so we'll put him in there. All right, so we want that guy. Now, what are we chasing? We're chasing Lennox. All right, Lennox. Um, here, let me get your... That's 22-pound fish. All right, that's... A, you know, you got you to gotta be able to... You got to be prepared to hook up to a uni. All right? So, Lennox uni, 22-pounder. So you got to have a stick for that. All right? So, um, these... How are we gonna fish for these guys? Is the next thing. So we got a twenty. We need we need something that'll land a twenty-two pound fish. And how are we gonna fish for them? We're gonna use live bait with a match rod, or we're we gonna use a spinning rod. Well, let's make sure that we kind of bring one of each. All right. So basically, what we need is some kind of twenty pound, um, uh, a twenty pound float rod. All right. Now I don't have, I don't have one in 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 a. I do not have one in a template. So, let's see. These are all, those are all telescopic rods. Okay, there's my Phoenix. We're going to throw a Phoenix on there. And then we're going to put, the way we're going to, now he's a 22 pounder. And we're going to go with a Big River 6500. Throw him on there. Now, that's a 19 pound, that's a 22 pound. And we're going to go grab some 20 pound test here. Somewhere, oh. All right, Buck, you got to go slow here. There's a lot, a lot. 
20 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds, uh, let's just go with it, what the hell, we'll just, we'll just go with the Arno, uh, I don't know how much that line will take, let's see how much it'll take first to see if we got one, 533, 533, I don't have a 533, get a full spool of that, Oop. 196, 452, um, we're gonna be in a boat. We, we, we don't need a full spool. Five, it was five, we're 452. We'll throw this 452 20 pound on there. That'll work. All right, so now we got a 22 pound, we got a 19 pound, we got 20 pound on there. That, that, that's perfect. Let's throw a bobber on this guy. Whoops. Okay, bobber, we need a bobber. What do you got here for bobbers, Buck? Oh, get out of the hole. Go to your back box. Oh, why not? We'll see. Here's here. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Float tears on there. What are we going fishing for? Uh, we might be float fishing for pike. All right, 20 pounder, pike leader. All right, we need, um, we need something around 20 pounds, titanium leader. What do we got in 20 pound area? 22.2, a little heavy titanium, 18.7. That's good, and it's already a little bit used. We'll take that, and let's see. We're going after Pike, possibly, and the Lennox. Um, I'm going to say probably four odd hook. We'll just go universal. <clears throat> All right, so we'll grab a barbless four odd. You know, buck only, buck only lines. All right, so now we got that guy. All we got to do is gear, bait him up. All right, so now. Next in line. Northern Pike we're going after. <clears throat> what are we missing? Buck, go to your notes. Omni Flood Jig Winner. Oh. Alright. So we're going after the Taman. Now this is what got me all pitched off here. So we'll leave number seven loose here. Alright. We're going after the Taman. So bottom rods. Okay. Um they're big, they're heavy. We're probably gonna fish for them out of a boat. So the heavy chaser is fine. Um, you can snatch them up. Um, I wouldn't, I mean, you can catch them on shore um, with the heavy chasers. If you latch into a uni, you're gonna have a hell of a fight. But I, I fish for my uni, I fish for my taming out of a boat. So I don't have a problem there. So we'll take the heavy chaser. And then we also got you know, we got the big McConzie here, 86 pounder. So he's always stocked up. I normally keep him in my in my stock anyway. He's my end game. And uh, that's all my, you know, that's a big heavy rod guy. All right. Now, the other thing is we need a match rod for these pike that will handle, okay, um, uni pike. Now, I don't know if there's unis over there, but a uni pike, I just look at, okay, I want to be able to handle the biggest pike no matter what waterway I'm on. So I'm going to take my stick for that one. Okay, so as far as the match rod goes, these pike get up to 47 pound. All right, so 45 pounder, 45 pound, and that's what I'm taking. Now, I, I took a, because I had this already in my bag, guys. All right, so I'm like, this will work for this mission. And it's a 45 pound majesty. It's all this is. It's the 1410 majesty, only it's a 14.9. It's 45 pound, same as you one in the shop, the 1410 is a 45 pound. Now its issue is it's a 31.5 on the reel. Eh, not too bad, 42 pound on the reel. I would probably get closer to that 45 pound. So I would go with the Majesty 1410 and uh, because that's a 45 pound stick. And I'd throw a Kraken 8000 on that. And reason being is the Kraken 8000 is a 43.3. So it's 43.3 pounds. So you're just, you're a pound point something shy of the the stick, which is nice. And uh, it's got a 42, 42.1 inch recovery with the Kraken. Because the only other reel in the, in the store that can get close to this, that Majesty 1410 setup, would be your Ambusher 8500. Okay? So the Ambusher 8500, I mean, he's a 46.2. 
with only a 35.5 on the recovery. So you're, you're losing a lot of ground there on the recovery for what? For two pounds to get the to get that weapon two pounds stronger? Because with this weapon, you can run 46 pound test on it. Um, that way, the, the, uh, the, what I'm running here is 44 pound test. So that's, it's, to me, this is, this is a good deal. You're all right. So, and it's equal to that. I would go with the Kraken because with the Kraken, you can run the 44 pound. So you're still only two pound off. So I'd go to the Kraken. Kraken 8,000 on the Majesty 1410. That would be the setup right there. All right. So we, there, that's all of our sticks. Now, the last one, I thought just for, you know, how Buck is, we're going to go because I haven't, I haven't used this stick in a while. And it's a lot of fun. So I thought we'd take it with us tonight. Uh, where is it? It is. Because we need a decent size. <clears throat> we need a decent size. Something heavy. If we want to. Now the only problem with this is you can't throw heavy lures with it. And the only thing you're going to get out of it. The best you can do on a half ounce floor is about, I think, two or three odd is, is, is your best. So we're going to go after some of these pike. We might not catch a uni on this, but we'll, we can we could possibly catch them with the live bait. So I thought we'd play around with the little river spear here. So we're going to take the river spear. That, that's a 764 to one and a half ounce, 57 pounder, 57.3. And that goes with the engine that goes with that is the ultimate roller. So alphabetical, and so we've got 57 pound, we got 56 pound, so we'll go get us some, we'll go get us some, I think, I think that's 56 pound, I think we got 56 pound braid, let's go looking for the braid first, red, ah, 57 pound, what is this, 56 too, we can put 57 on there, okay, 395, 395, have any big 57s to know what it will take? No. Alright, well. Seems to be all 395s. Let's see. 395 fits. We'll take that. Alright, and then we'll take we'll take another 395 in the backpack just in case. Because that was that was wore down there. I don't know how much we're going to use it. We want to make sure that we have some backup line in the backpack. All right. So we got it. I think our backpack with line deals. Okay. We're good with line. We'll get us this. Okay. And then we'll put a lure on there when we get there, depending on, you know, what we decide to use with this thing. Um, we're going to go after pike, though. So let's go ahead and put a leader on there real fast. Uh, 57 pound home line. So. Oh, we might have it in the backpack. Probably. I'm not sure. Titanium 57. There's 55.1. That'll work. All right. And then Pike. Let's, let's try Walker off the bat. How about that? Mm. Oh, I was wrong. Oh. Hi, Mike. <clears throat> All right. Let's grab up a Walker here. Uh, we need something one hot. Yeah, you know what? One hot. That's. We'll throw him on there. All right, we're good. So he's baited up, and then whatever we decide, we're going after Pike. Okay, let's bait him up real quick. Um, mm -hmm. we'll go with a signer for right now, right off the bat. Put a signer on him. So now we're all baited up. Okay, let's go to inventory. Let's make sure we got the right boat. Oh, I don't want to take that boat. I don't like the depth finder. I mean, I love the boat. It's blue. It matches when I go color coded, coordinated. Then okay, I'm going with my hats and everything. So I go with it because I didn't care really. I wasn't fishing with the boat. All right, we need something a little better. Like that guy doesn't care about the canoe. What size? Fishing net you got in there, Buck. We're going to. Well, that's not good at all, now, is it? 44 pound by 220. That's not good at all. All right, make sure you get your right fish net here, fellas. 
All right, we're going after big guys. Let's take the big guy. Hey, boss. <clears throat> hey, how are you? All right, so now we got the big fish net. Make sure we can catch these big taming. All right, we're all loaded up here. We got everything we need. We're in good shape here. We got all of our sticks. Let's go back over to the globe. We need a license. Let's jump over there. Where are we at? 8.15. I kind of figured that's right where we'd be. Let's get one day, 8,000. Like I said, um, to go over here, it costs you 20,000. 8,000 for the license, and then it costs you 12,000 for the travel. So we're there. Let's get traveled over there. Let's get the hell on the water. We've been wasting too much time. Mm. <laughs> I didn't get to go through the, I didn't get to get all my sticks lined hey, up in, in the bait shop, so we'll go there. Hi, hi. All right, guys, here we are. All right, like I said, there's four places that you can spawn in here, guys. There's Tom Gall over here. Now, Tom Gall means the big fire. So this is a cold water river, and evidently, you know, this was a place where they all hung out. And like I said, it ain't just a game. These are real waterways. They're actually there. Fishing Planet did some smart research. Um, they picked the waterways with a little bit of history. If you go out there and do your research, you can you can learn about this. Over here at uh, at the nomadic camp, you can see the little camps over here with all the little utes. Mm -hmm. And the camels and everybody and the sheep graze over here. So you can figure that out all over here. Um, you've got Taman Island here in the middle, which is really sweet. And that's where Jules catches Taman from shore with with heavy chasers. Um, some, <laughs> something that I say do not do. I don't recommend doing it. But Jules likes to fight Taman for 20, 30 minutes just so she can say, <laughs> gotcha. Yay. Gotcha. Fuck. Fuck. Now, I've seen Jules walk around Taman Island twice <laughs> with Taman and say, <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> all right, so that's all about Tame and I. <laughs> all right, so then we have down here, all the way up here, is the ancient hitching post. Now, if you get over here, this is this is really kind of cool over here to fish along this shore, or up up along through here. It's kind of nice, and if you will, you can take it. You could take a little tour if you want out of your day of fishing. Walk up see some of the wild horses and stuff that are around there this is a pretty unique map that fishing planet did it had an interaction on it so uh, stay away from the camels uh, they spit they spit on you they get they get well they spit on you in the game Mike if you walk up to the fence the camel will spit on you oh thank you Oh, they do. Oh, I tried to jump over the fence to kick that camel's ass. He spit on me. I, I wasn't having none of it. I wasn't having none of it. Actually, I have it on, I have it on video. If you watch my Selenge tour video, I, I purposely stayed there till the camel spit on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you stand there long enough, right at the fence, right in front of that camel, he will spit on you. Yep. They they programmed it. In. Oh yeah. Yeah. They programmed it in the game. I mean, when I play these games, I search every inch of it. I walk everywhere when it's a new waterway. Yeah. I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Me me and those camels, we get into fighting. All right. <laughs> All right, well, we might as well create a, well, create a club room anyway, even though we're getting our butts kicked. That's all right. And <laughs> let's see here now. Where are we going? We're going to create a club room. I thought that maybe we would um, just start off maybe going after the northern pike. That, that's, yeah. kind of, that's kind of nice. And we'll, we'll run all the way up the river here. We'll run up to okay. the top of the map. And uh, I like to fish for, there's big boys up there. So we'll go up there and fish. So let's jump down there. Let's go over there. I'm going to see about, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to give smoke. Yes, sir. Guess, Guess what? I ate for dinner. Okay, wait a minute. I'm sure I can guess this because every... Oh, I love it. Look, we couldn't have asked for a more beautiful night for, wow. fishing, 
proficient with mm-hmm. boxing. This this has got to be mm-hmm. seen now. The Selenge River is under ice from November to April. You you can't mm-hmm. fish you can't fish this river. It's frozen. Mm-hmm. So, and a lot of times, right before, like in September, that must be when they they decided to make this map. So we get the September weather on the Selenge River, and oh, wow. yeah, in September. It's warm enough, but the snow starts to fall, but it melts when it hits the ground. And so cool. Yeah, and so that's that's the time of year that we Ooh. have here in this in this map is they have uh-huh. picked they've picked Mongolia in September, so that's when you fish this, and it's mm. it's always September. It's like one day it may not be snowing, but if you look. It's always getting pretty, like, it's only 30 degrees, 48 degree water temperature. Ooh. So it, it's mm-hmm. a little chilly here. Okay, yeah. so this is what I could never understand here. I mean, the kayak, yeah. okay, I could almost get in my kayak. All right, that's cool. Yeah. But now, there's no way. my so cool. There is no way that I am getting to that boat any way, shape, or form without swimming. That this okay, put the boat closer to shore, fishing planet. Look, 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 I can't even get up. Oh. All right, let's get in there. Oh, that was a hell of a jump. Hmm. Wait, I gotta see what boat Jules brought. Uh, but where are the camels? Um... Where are the camels? Oh, you go to the huts, to the, mm-hmm. to the ute huts, and walk back to the left behind them. And there's a little fence behind there, and the camels, oh, and the camels are there. And there's a couple laying down, and then there's a couple of males close to the fence. Well, you can get real close to them. Mm-hmm. You you can get yeah. right up to the camel, and they'll spit on you. Uh, I don't see any camels. <laughs> Keep looking. We'll find. And they the water down. What do you mean? All right. All right. All right. But we got. We got. Yeah. We got to go do the camels. Oh, I I see them. You see them? Is that you? Oh, you over there. I'm on the wrong. I'm in the wrong spot. It's the. Oh, it's me. It's the nomadic camp. All right, where are them mm-hmm. camels at? They're like right back there uh, somewhere. Um, over right here. Yeah, and then because the sheep are over to the right. Yeah, here's the camels. I'm coming over there, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, get away. <laughs> not too, not too long. They'll spit on you. This guy right here, right next to you. Uh, I don't oh. get it. What's that at? Hang on, it's coming. Oh wow! I don't see anything going on. Yes, wait. You have to. Have, you have to spend enough time here. I'm sitting here trying to get pictures. I want them to turn around. Wait, you'll hear it. <laughs> you gotta listen to the, the to the audio. Yeah, you gotta listen what to the. You gotta listen to the audio. No. Hear it? He just spit on you. <clears throat> Didn't you hear that? No. Yeah. yeah, watch. Here it's coming again. You gotta be quiet and just listen to the audio. After he grunts, he'll go and then he'll spit on you. Uh I think it's dead. It keeps doing. Here comes. He's chewing. Watch. Then he'll grunt. Then he'll spit on you. Here it comes. Uh, I, 
Oh, no, he's eating. Here it comes. There it goes, Larry. You hear it? Yeah. Here it comes. Why did the other one come over there? See? Micah, you, you're irritating him and he just spit on you again. Now leave, 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 leave the damn camels alone. Are you gonna be? You're gonna be. Oh, that was a little bit of a lie. Why do you have to do that too? All right, ba back to Fishkin. Back to Fishkin. Let's go. Let's go get her a boat. Come on, boat. Oh, now you're really making me mad. Hit on it. Hit on it, Buck. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going to hang a left hand turn and we're going all the way up to the end of the map. We're going to go hunt. We're going to go hunt Northern Pike up here. I like to hunt Northern Pike up here. Look at this beautiful map. I remember when this map come out. I was so excited about it. I was like, I couldn't wait for this map to come out. Uh, why, why this bowl, why did I get it? Oh, uh, uh, you didn't bring that. Oh, I know she brought her big powder blue uh, baby. Uh, okay, I got it. Yeah, you did. Got her powder blue baby, her Cadillac. Oh, oh my God. You know what Mike has got? He's got the Draco. The one, uh, well, the Draco's too big for this river. Yeah, I know. Where do you go? All the way up to... Oh, we're, got, come up here to the left. When you get in your boat, just come up river to the left. Wait, me go along there, right? got to come up past the horses and camels. We're going all the way up. Got to head, head northeast. I, I try to refrain from using, I try to refrain from using compass coordinates just, just because most people don't know how to read a compass. But go, go northeast. <laughs> I'm only driving eight mile an hour. You should have already run over me by now. <laughs> okay. For, for you guys that are watching the stream, those spots right over there against those rocks, th those are Uni Lennox. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you can get yourself a uni Lennox over there. This is no. this is northern no. northern Pike Country right here where we're at, guys. All right, let's slow her down. Whoop! No, I didn't say back it up. I said slow it down, Buck. <laughs> okay. So now I like to hunt the northern Pike over here, actually. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I didn't want backwards. I just want to follow my lemon on a uh, long boat. I think it's going to happen. We're going to drop an anchor right here, guys, because of the fact oh, that... Oh, wait a minute. My lemon con boat is at home. Look, look, look at what we got here. here. All right. Trying to talk to my YouTubers. Hush up a second. Okay, Sorry. look at what we've got here. We've got top of, the, top of the map. You can't go any further. That's it, right? You see the ducks? Aren't, aren't they cute? Why doesn't my Zoom work? Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, All right, pull, pull something out, Buck, so you can.
still work worth a crap now. All right, well, there's the ducks. All right, so now we've got a little bit of target here. Northern pike, all through here, fellas, all through here, around this rocks over here, underneath these, underneath these guys here. You just gotta play around. Some you can play with them with a spoon, a casting spoon. I like to, I like to, because I'm lazy tonight, and I've been club fishing, so you guys are going to get to see Buck do a lot of live bait fishing, because Buck doesn't want to work a reel, Buck doesn't want to work a spinning reel at all, so we're going to put this spinning reel that I got in my hand away, we're going to, oh god, now I don't know where, what, what position any of my stuff's in, Phoenix, that's what I want, all right, so we got a twenty, we got a twenty-two pound setup here. About it's a twenty pound stick. All right, twenty pound weapon. That's basically what I build here. Okay, that that should handle as, as long as I don't get into one of these uni pikes. Now I'm anchored. If I do get into a uni, we're we're in a little bit of a we're in a, a little bit of a fix. Okay, but I don't want to keep moving my boat because I'm lazy tonight. So. All right, first off, check your depth, Buck. Where you at there? 39 inches. A little bit deep here. This is a shallow. This is a shallow river, actually. So let's let's set her about 31. I, I, I like 30, 30, 28, 29. 30. Oh, you know what? Let's split the difference with 30 inches and see how we do over here. Let's drop her in over here. That's why I chose to fish out of a boat. I'm tired of fighting four and five rods every two seconds catching fish. How about it, Jules? Aren't we tired of it? Yeah. All day long. Catching panfish, one fish. Yeah. Um, um, all three platforms. All three platforms. Oh, by the way, guys, if you you new guys that are joining in, thanks to the Bass Brigade over there. Uh, I don't know whether to thank them or shoot him, but we now have another club on, on mobile that, that Buck's playing on. And I told you guys I don't play on mobile. I hate playing on mobile, but I'm over there helping out the club. You know why? Because that's what you do when you join a club. Oh, look what Micah does. He pulls his Cadillac in there. Oh, my goodness. There he is. There's there's my boy. I love him. I love him. He's actually got a full catered staff on that. I got you. Yeah. On that boat. When Mike and I fish, we can I can get on his boat. We have breakfast because he has a chef over there, a cook. What? <laughs> yeah. Hi, little duck. All right, guys. For those of you that may be watching this for the first time, like I want to, you know, I want to get ready for a Selenge. All right, you saw the gear that we needed to get prepped up on. Uh, that boat right there, not needed. All you need in this river is is a little rubber boat, really. That, that's the best boat to fish out of. If you did buy a DLC and you have the Lyra, <clears throat> the Lyra, it's a very good boat, and uh, it basically weighs about the same. You can you can fish off the back of it, so you can fight fish. Uh, this is narrow. This is a narrow river, and when you latch on, to, if you latch on to a tame, and you want to be able to negotiate your boat without a trolling motor, it, you know, off these rocks and stuff like that. So that's why I recommend the rubber. Rubber boats work really great. Um, you can you can fish off of a rubber boat 360. It doesn't matter. Uh, a bass boat you cannot. You're fishing off the front of it, and you're using a trolling motor to keep the front of your boat, but pointed towards the fish. Once it gets behind you, it you know not such a good deal. But these well, rubber. I got <laughs> That boat, uh -huh. that boat that Micah has, the Draca, um, great for the Congo. I have that boat. Um, it's hard to drive, hard to see out of, but if you take your time and get where you're going, 
I mean, that's your mm -hmm. only boat that you're going to get three rods out of, that you could fish with three rods out of that boat. And you get yourself. Yeah, well, it's tough when you're in flow. It's tough because you don't. See, now the bad thing about the Draco boat is once you, yeah. once you put a rod in the rod stand, you no longer have control of your trolling motor. So when there's a rod in the rod stand, now you're at the mercy of the current. So you're going to go where the current goes or you're going to go where that fish on one of your other sticks takes you. And that's that's the bad part there about, okay, it's nice because I can I have a chance of catching fish faster. But once you latch on to one, now you're still one-on-one -on -one and the other two rods are useless because you're dragging them all around with you. And your trolling motor don't work because those rods are in the water. So, not a good boat. For, you know, fast fishing. I mean, I still take it to with me to the Congo. Just for the simple fact that I got three bait in the water and my hookup rate. I don't care about it. All I want is one of them to go off. I don't care about the other two. I want one of them to go off, and I got a, I got a better chance with three in the water. So once you hook up to a Nile perch, who cares about the other two rods? Once you're done fighting that Nile perch, you pull them all in, reposition your boat, and do the same thing. <clears throat> so it's okay if that's what you're out there doing. You're out there after, or like some of the places, I don't necessarily fish for Nile perch. Uh, at the Congo. Um, you can make a lot of money fishing for the catfish. Big, There's big catfish. You know, the cambas and... Uh, I, I see what you got coming. That's good. <laughs> I told you there was... I told you there was Uni and Trophy Lennox down here. That's why I brought everybody down here. I'm hoping I don't catch a fish, to tell you the truth. I don't want to... I don't even want to fight one. I'm just going to sit here and bullshit and just talk about mm -hmm. what I know. That's it. Mm -hmm. And agitate everybody else. <laughs> I've been fishing for a solid week in the club. I'm trying to take a break. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, hello, uh, I need a cat. In fact... Hello, my... hmm? In fact, I think I'm going to change my bait to something like moldy cheese to make sure I don't get a bite. I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll try anything. Well, see, I I wouldn't even bait. I wouldn't even bait if it would let me throw the damn line out without bait on it. I'd do it. But it won't. Mm -hmm. It won't let me do that. Oh. Uh oh, here we go. Looks like I'm gonna. Have, I'm gonna have to fight one. Something actually got interested in my shiner. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it like a number fourteen hook on. Uh oh. Uh oh, Buck. What do you got there? Oh, he's a little one. Oh, what? Oh, 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 look at, uh, look at Micah picking up the munis. Look at Micah. Oh, uh, Micah. Nice, nice I catch. The painter author. You have the Patriot Walker on him. You're fishing with a walker. There you go. That's a, that's my. I that's all. I love fishing with that walker. But you you know you start throwing a walker up here, you're gonna have to fight fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to fight no fish. <laughs> in fact, I bought fighting weapon. In fact, I'm I'm throwing right over there by the ducks, hoping that the, the ducks have scared all the fish away. <laughs> All right, put your zoom on there, Buck. Oh, jeez. 
Now, uh, the, now the zoom works. Look at them mallards. Now, I should be able to cross play here. I should be able to do like alt tab and grab my shotgun from the hunter and shoot, mm -hmm. shoot a couple of them mallards and get points for them. Yeah. Well, I don't care. I'm on a map where there's mallards. I can score points if I shoot a mallard on the classic hunter. Mm -hmm. See, this is peaceful. Yeah, I'm that. Well, it was peaceful. The snow is falling. Look, now I got another damn bike. <laughs> oh, see, I got the right gear. I have a lot of fun. I got 20 pound gear. What are you fishing with, a Maconzi? Oh, no, you, you're using a walker. You got your now chaser. Yeah. <laughs> 90. Oh. Yeah, 97 pound pole for, for a 20 pound fish. See, that's what, that's what happens to you, Jules, when you get to 80 so fast, you don't care about, you don't care about XP. You just go, get, give me the biggest six. I don't want to wait. Too, I don't want to fight that fish. I, I did. I've seen Micah yank in big fish, just one, two, three, four, five after four one. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one after wow. another. But he's not getting any damn XP. <laughs> I'm I'm for the new new map. Map. I know you are. You know what? We're all going to be in trouble, I think, us level 80 players. We're going to be in Why? trouble. Well, because they're going to make that probably a level 90 map. That means we have to we have to level up ten times to get there. Well, that's a lot. Think uh, about think about that. You know how hard it is to go up one rank at level eighty just to just to level up one one rank. I mean, yeah. when you when you get to level, it's so easy when you're down in the lower levels because you don't have to make as many points to level up. Mm -hmm. When you get to eighty, it takes way more points every time to get another rank. So right. I'm wondering how they're going to do that. Are they going to increase? Are they going to increase our XP so we don't have to fish so long? Or are we going to be, uh, the, or are we going to be the same, you know, where you got to score 4 million XP to get to the next rank? Yeah. I mean, my hat's off to these guys that are like, 80 level rank in the hundreds. My God, do, do you do you do you know how much? I mean, I fish around the clock now. Granted, they probably been playing this game for 10 years. I haven't, mm -hmm. I've been playing it for two, but mm -hmm. I, there's no way in hell I'm going to get to three digit ranking anytime. Oh, yeah. Anytime within the next 10 friggin' years, I can tell you that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's me. Okay, I'm going to go on Walker. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, it's my it's my Club Series bobber that's making these guys hit. That's the key. Uh, but... What? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm busy right now. You're I just I just All yanked right. I just yanked one right through your boat. <laughs> what we got there? Another crazy Lennox. See guys, mm -hmm. that's that's why I tell you twenty pound gear. Now that's a five pound Lennox. He fought he fought down that twenty pound gear like hell. But that's the stick you wanna bring here. That's why you wanna bring a Phoenix. And the reason I, I'm a big guy, anytime you're buying gear that's in the 20-pound range, if it's 19, 20, 21, or 22,
There's only one reel to put on it. Only one. That's it. That's a big river. A big river 6500 is the only reel you want to put on that. Any stick that is 19 to 22 pounds, a big river. In fact, if, if you find something that's like a 22, I don't know. I haven't looked. I mean, I don't even remember now if there's any 22 pound match rods or 22 pound spinning rods. But <clears throat> even a 22 pound, uh, 23 pounder, I mean. I would still go with this 6,500 that's only 19 pounds because you can mm-hmm. go, you can go as high. I mean, you got a, let's say you got a 23 pound stick. That's a 19 pound reel. You can put 20 pound line on that. That's still a very, and the reason why you say mm-hmm. use the big yeah, rivers is, is because they're made by UL yeah. Tubber, old Tubber. <clears throat> and they are made for carp fishing. They are made high recovery. I mean, they got a 49 inch recovery. When you catch a fish with this reel, you, you're not, I mean, 49 inches, that's the largest recovery in the game. You, you don't, there's there no other reel pulls that fast. So that's why I say, at, 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 in your 20 pound gear, you should have Big River 6500s on everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, that's just, a, that's when you know you got, and you can run, like I said, it doesn't matter what stick you got, because even if you got a 19 pound stick, you can still take this reel, put it, put it on there and run 20 pound test. Not mm-hmm. a problem. You got a very, very strong weapon. Um, so I, to me, one of the, one of the best 20 pound match rods the, um, the best 20 pound match rod in the game is this Phoenix with a big river on it. You can't beat it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like the jig winner. The best 10 pound spinning rod in the game is, is, mm-hmm. is, a, is a jig winner 810 with a Bremer 5000 on it. You can't get, mm-hmm. and you, and that's a 14, that's a 13 pound pole, four, 14 pound reel, and you throw 15 pound test on it. Very, very strong weapon. Mm -hmm. Well, how's everybody's weather this week? I guess we're getting a break from the Uh, snow. We're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of rain here. Yeah, we had a gorgeous week. Those guys have no life. That's why. That's fuck. Who go? Who has no life? I don't know. I I never I never pay attention because Smokey was my Smokey was my comment guy. He always reading my comments in my ear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you got there? That's a Lennox. Uh, no, nice. Uh-huh. Nor- There's a Northern Pike. Okay. Somebody's finally mm-hmm. caught a northern pike. Mm-hmm. Well, they do, They don't seem to be on the right over there. Or try that. Try on the left. That that rock, right? Yeah, that's what I'm leaning. Yeah, shoot over there. There's usually some pike over in there. What do I got? Yeah. Oh, oh, the level yeah. 100 guys. Weather, Twitter posts. Weather's getting be- better here. Where Where are you at, Twitter posts? Please let me know. Man, you didn't. You haven't. You haven't chimed in yet tonight. Where are you? We have weather. You got miserable weather. No, no, we're warm over here. Beautiful weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. We well. I mean, it's not raining today, but it did, you know, the rain, the rain left yesterday afternoon, but then the cold temperature came in last night. We're at like 35 degrees today. Texas. Oh, you guys in Texas. I I couldn't, I, I lived in Texas for 10 months. I couldn't take it. I couldn't wait to get the hell out of there. I know all about your weather there. I, I lived there. Me, 
me, Buck, and I, and I, I get it. I moved from Colorado to Plano, mm-hmm. Texas. Now, me, Buck, not knowing anything, I'm like, who the hell thinks in 1992 that there's such thing mm-hmm. as a dry, there's a such thing as a dry county? Mm-hmm. I find a nice little, there you go, Jules. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. There you go. See, I told you guys I'll put you on unis tonight. But you need to get one too. I don't want one. <laughs> nah. I don't. What the hell? I don't need one. That means I have to fight them. I'm resting mm-hmm. tonight. Mm-hmm. Are you sure about that? I am. I am resting tonight, <laughs> Micah. You know how? You know how many fish I've caught in the last week? Mm-hmm. It, it's in, uh-huh. it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Um, I think I got a lot too. Jules, you were with me for what twelve hours yesterday. Yeah. yeah. We fished for twelve. I fished for fourteen hours yesterday. Mm-hmm. And and we're still in third place. <laughs> these 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 guys ain't giving up. That's what I mean. I need seven guys, 20, I need 20 guys that want to fish friggin' because then all we'd have to do is get five or six guys together one night a week Yeah. and we could make, that's what these guys that are winning are doing. They get 10, they get seven guys together. They say, okay, let's go on this waterway. We'll fish for four hours and they make friggin' a hundred thousand points because they got seven guys there and they know where to go. Now, yeah. if we had a lot of people, I would say, okay, let's go to Sandra Bagasy. Okay, that would be the one, that would be the lake to really make your money on. Because you you can catch panfish there at almost the same rate as you can at Lone Star. However, at Sandra Bagasy, there's unis. So when you have five or six guys at yeah. Sandra yeah, you get five or six guys at Sandra Bagasy, and now you're yanking in uni Prussian carp, uni tenches. Now you're making eight points of fish. You know, eight, nine, nine points of fish. These guys, wow. got they got that figured out. They know, okay, we're going to Sandra Bagasy, or we're going, now they probably have a spot in the, you know, a lot of these guys go fish the Congo. So they, some guy in the Congo knows of where they can go catch trophy um, Oscars and trophy banded raccoons, and they can catch trophy. I'm not there, but not well, what I'm saying is they're going to these bigger lakes and they're catching yeah. the, they're catching the panfish there where there's unis. Okay. Now what we do yeah. is well we do is we go to the free the free lake Lone Star, but we're mm-hmm. only we're limited to trophies only. That's the best we can do is a trophy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when you go to these other waterways, especially a big waterway down down south, you're spending a lot of money up front and travel and and, right. and license. So you have and especially if you're going after panfish. You you're gonna have to fish there one two days before you start making a profit. So these guys cannot, yeah. yeah, they cannot be making any money on their accounts, but they're making serious club points. When they're just choosing to do, I don't know why they think. All you got to do is get a place where you can get uni and trophies. If you can find a place where you can catch a bunch of uni and trophy panfish. And I just haven't been able to find the exact spot yet. I mean, Lone Star, Lone Star right now produces the most trophies the fastest. So that's why I always fish there, and it's free to get there. So everything yeah. is everything is one hundred percent profit. Now you don't make mm-hmm. a lot, but it's all profit. Oh, what about California? Well, California, California, you can't catch panfish fast enough. No. I mean, uh, if you go, if you if you go to that, you can you can go to that spot, the bridges, uh, the the bridges, 
And if you could fish around that little island right there the, on that one spot in the bridges, the beaver, the beaver bridges or whatever it is, um, you can catch mm -hmm. a you can catch a lot of panfish there, but and you can catch unis. You can, you know, you will yeah. catch a uni red ear every once in a while, but not at a very high rate. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. And then you got to look at, okay, I'm catching, I need to catch at least 200 to 300 fish in order to compete in the club. Well, well, then you got to start looking at, okay, what is that going to cost me in bait? Well, if you're, if you're not using crickets, which is the cheapest bait in the world, that's only 200 for even, even the, the you know, the, the regular maggot and wax worm is 240. So you're still paying more. So you, you mm. gotta you gotta go with crickets, and that kind of you know if you wanna if you wanna be able to not lose money and I mean that's that's the that's the best way I figured it out. It's it's omni floats, yeah. omni floats, number six hooks, crickets, and just fish your ass off. It's just constant constant fish. Now, AJ and I went over to Sandra Bagasy one day in the afternoon. We said, you know, mm -hmm. we we like, I can't take, I can't take Lone Star another friggin' minute. So we mm -hmm. were, yeah, we went over to Sandra Bagasy and we, we were catching unis, but there was only two of us. But we were catching unis, we were catching trophies. But then mm -hmm. we caught a lot of, a lot, we made a lot of club points. However, when we were done making the club points, we still had a lot of fish to catch, so we weren't in the red. It was like shit. Yeah, like you can't just leave like you can Lone Star and not have to worry. You're not in the red. There, you have to stay there. And then it was like, okay, I have to give up fishing for panfish. Now I got to go fish for catfish and pike so I can make my money to leave. And so that's a downfall there. So it doesn't profit out if you go to Sandra Bagasy unless you're going to be there long enough with a bunch of guys. And even still, all you guys are not going to make enough money. You're going to leave that lake with a bunch of club points, yes, but you're catching small fish. So it costs too much money to go there. Even when you're done club fishing and everybody leaves, you're not going to have enough money to be in the black. That's the problem with Germany. And it, that's kind of like anywhere you go to catch unis, you're going to have to spend money to get there. And the turnover rate isn't quick enough. Now, if you have a whole bunch of guys there, <clears throat> then you all can take a little bit of a loss, which mm -hmm. I know these guys are doing because they're, they got to be fishing for panfish. That's the only thing you can catch that fast. And I started looking at, I started looking at some of the guys that produce the most points in the clubs. And, you know, because you can click right on them and go right to their profile and see what their sticks are. And they're all, they're all running the Omni floats with the, with the mega spins the mini spins. Yeah, they're they're all running that. So they're all going after panfish with three pound gear. That's it that's the only way to make maximum club points. Damn, I still can't catch a damn pike. Wait, nothing but nothing but Lennox. All right. Try the other uh, that's oh, no. Try the other side. Let's see if we can catch a pike over here on the other side. I never did look. I forgot to look at my map. I mean, we all started at the, what's the peak today? You know what? Um, I don't know. Um, it's yeah, one of them level dudes went mm -hmm. all the way across the day where it's just kind of level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
All right, boy, there's a lot of text going on. Jesus, Boise. No, but what the hell is going on? Twitter post. Text my friend. Okay. Also, can we not set up many rods on the boats? I can only use one rod while using the boats in this game. Yeah, you can own the only boat that you can use multiple rods, Twitter, is the Draco boat. That's the only one that gives you rod rod holders in the boat. Okay, snow mixed with rain here, Buck, getting nasty. Oh, that means it's coming our way in Boise. Pennsylvania still got dry counties. Yeah, we do. Uh, look at me on mobile. I've been fishing nonstop. Out of boy. They send their sander baggies to those waterways. I don't know what that means. Don't. Two different baits have different catch rates, like between crickets and stuff. Uh, do different baits have different? Okay, well, okay, that's a good question there. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no good. Thanks, baby. Wheezy Mouse. Wheezy Mouse stepped in tonight, guys. Say hi, Wheezy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Wheezy. Hi, Julie. Honey, how are you? Hey, Wheezy Mouse. Hi, Wheezy Mouse. Hey, Wheezy Mouse. Yeah. I'm going for the key to win the Super Bowl this year. You, you hope the Chiefs win the Super Bowl? Me too. <laughs> I'm, I'm back, back for, for the win. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And so does Mahomes. Well, Buck ain't so happy about that, but we'll see. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. I I do like the Chiefs. I do. Yeah, I sense, uh, about three years. Well. Unfortunately, I, now, I, I was never a fan of the 49ers because of their political stand on everything. But mm -hmm. but they they actually played really, really hard-nosed good football this year. So uh, I see it on my screen. And I don't have a pipe yet. <laughs> All right, let me get let me get back to Twitter posts question about the different baits. Okay, Hi, everybody. Baby. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Okay. All right, <laughs> the different baits. Now, if you're going club fishing, you need low gear, smallest gear you can get, the smallest stuff. You get the 23-foot telefloat and, and a mini spin eight under. That's what you want on there. Now, crickets are the cheapest thing. However, what's going to happen when you fish at Lone Star with crickets <laughs> is you're going to get uh, psycho bass that are, on, that are on angel dust. Okay, now... They go nuts. I'm I'm gonna do a video on that. Oh, there's another Uni Northern Pike. Way to go, Micah. <laughs> Lovely, my friend. Um, I'm, I'm way more now. now. Okay, it means oh, they send uh, their uh, line uh, level members uh, to uh, far uh, away. Put send bagging me. Uh, I see dual reserve beside that log on this cat. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll show you why I can't. Yeah, you can. You can All right. Two hours. It's why that long I'm passing right now. Right there. Tickets are good for small. Oh, I love that. Well, it's more like long Different baits have different catch rates. All right, guys. I see all this stuff going on on the chatters. Okay. Now, if you guys watch my videos, if you've been watching my videos from the beginning, crickets are crickets, and and it's the same in real life. Crickets are the nuclear bait. For anything. It's like well, about the Congo. It's corn, crickets, Congo. <laughs> that's, that's the way it works. Um, crickets, crickets, crickets. I don't know. You can spend all your money that you want on all these fancy baits that they sell you at level 73 to fish in the Congo. Get yourself 200 friggin' crickets and go to Congo and you're good. All right, so that's what I'm talking about. Now, here's the thing about fishing Lone Star with the baits. Now, maggots cost you 240 for 15 mm -hmm. versus 200. Now, if you're using maggots, what you're going to do is you're going to get you're going to get the shiners. You're going to get the golden shiners. Now, the, every time you catch a golden shiner, that takes away your chance wow. of catching a trophy, because there are no trophy golden shiners. There's only common. So if you're using maggots, 
you're going to catch golden shiners, and that eliminates your chance of catching a trophy crappie. If every mm-hmm. for every shiner that you get it eliminates that. So, but your trophy crappy, your trophy bluegill, they all will hit on a maggot. Not a problem. It's, it works real fine. Now, mm-hmm. when you go to crickets, now here's the thing. If you're using maggots, you're not going to get the psycho bass. You're not going to get your those goofy bass that you have to fight for 10 minutes. Okay? Now, if you go to crickets, you're going to get those psycho bass. Um, mm-hmm. You're going to get one pound bass that run all up and down friggin' Lone Star, left and right, under the bridge, and they get stuck under the bridge. And it's, it's unbelievable. But there's a way to deal with them. Just put them in the rod stand, let them run like hell, fish with your other poles, and just when you get a free moment, go back to that, because it'll never get off. It's a psycho bass. You can let it sit there. I've let it sit there. I've left the house, come back, and that psycho bass is still flying up and down Lone Star. They don't get off. You you have to land them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You have to land them or you have to break the line. Now, I used to break the line, but I got tired of buying barbless hooks because that's all I fished mm-hmm. with. So now I just yeah. let the friggin' bass run as long as he wants. And I'm just a minus one pole until you get to the point where now I've got I've got two psycho bass on three psycho bass on all my poles. So you got to land one of them and then you just got to deal with them. But normally, if you just let him sit there and run and you fight your other poles, eventually he'll get tired after 20 minutes and you just have, Mm -hmm. you know, and he'll come in. But. I mean, and then when you finally get him in, he's like 1.1 pound. <laughs> and you're fishing with four pound gear. He's 1.1 pound, but you had to fight him for 15 minutes. It's insane. So that's the that's the problem you have when you go to crickets. But crickets, you'll get more trophies. Now, on a normal run, two peak day at Lone Star, um, <clears throat> you can end up with, where's my little sheet here? I have it right here. Uh-oh, Buck, you lost it. Uh-huh. I keep stats on anything, everything, because it's all math. So, normal day at Lone Star, two peaks, low barometer. You can, with 269 crickets, it costs you $2,000. You get 249 fish when you're done. That, get, that gets you 10000 minus the 2000 for the crickets. You make $8,000 profit. You catch 249 fish. Out of those 249 fish, 66 are trophies. 13 of them, 13 you're going to fight like hell because they're the bass. And I did this three or four times, and the numbers are all, they're all right there. Did, you know, maybe a couple more one time, a couple less the other time, but that's kind of where they're at. Um, the XP, non, non-premium non XP, you make about 5,500 to 49 to 5,500 XP. Is what you make. Now the single peak, pretty much the same thing. You know, 234 fish made 158 pounds. I mean, you can take a 198 pound net and fish it at, at Lone Star and fish it all day through the peaks, catch as much fish as you can, and you, and you're basically not going to fill that net. So that's the net you want to take because you you're, you're going to run right around 170, 150 to 170 pounds of fish. Mm-hmm. Oh, I I catch sixty. I catch sixty six to seventy trophy, sixty six to seventy trophy at Lone Star. Well, I will say you must be good Bass Brigade on that phone because I I still I still don't even have a friggin' rod stand, which no, um, not on mobile. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that platform. I play on mobile. I play on mobile just for Bass Brigade's sake. Right before I go to bed at night, until I fall asleep, I just. I only have two. I only have two poles. Yeah, I think I'm level fourteen or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. 
Yeah, I catch normally on, on a net. So you figure 198 pound net. I fish one day. I fish through the peaks. I get done. So I base everything. It doesn't matter what it takes me in real life to do it. I just look at the game thing. My I fill my fish net. I fish the peaks. I don't know. It takes me a couple hours to do that. An hour, two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. You make eight thousand mm-hmm. dollars, um, and you get sixty six trophies. So you figure if you got three or four guys in there, sixty six trophies, and you're making five five points a trophy. That's with three guys, you can make five points a trophy times sixty six. That that's good. That's good club points. Like I said, Buck, us mobile players are a breed different. Oh, you're a breed different, that's for sure. Because <laughs> if I continue to play Fishing Planet on my phone, I'm going to need a new phone. Yeah, you need a bigger phone, phone than that. No, it's going to go against the wall. Mm-hmm. Micah, you know me and my anger management problems. Oh, uh, yeah. If I can't if I can't push a button and make it do what I want it to do. Um, well, my my issue is is I spent my entire life on high grade computer systems where mm-hmm. they reacted immediately, no matter what. Mm-hmm. And I get into this gaming world and everything has a friggin' delay. Everything mm-hmm. sucks. Everything's spinning. Everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm so fast with my fingers. I'm six steps ahead of this friggin' game. It's like, will you please catch up to me? I, I just, I, I don't get it. And it's worse on Steam, at least on my level 80 account. On on Windows, Windows, mm-hmm. the, cli- the client reacts faster. Like when I'm going through my rods in a rod stand, much faster. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Much faster. When yeah. when I'm on Steam, yeah. much much slower. I mean, you gotta wait for that damn client to catch up to you. It's like, come mm-hmm. on! I'm already there. I want that rod now. I already see that I got a bite on it. I want it, and I gotta wait for Steam to do its shit, and then I can. It, it's it's there's a big difference, you know. And a lot yeah. of a lot of people don't understand that because. Most people take a game and they play it on mm-hmm. one platform. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much, and that's kind of like all I ever did. Well, now since we started this whole Frumpy Buckle Lodge thing and, and this lodge and, the, and these clubs, I'm playing on three different platforms. And I'm a computer guy. And I'm like, man, there is a big difference in playing this game, the same damn game, and I'm the same fisherman, so I fish the same way on all three platforms. And there's a big difference on all three platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, what's he talking about? Yeah, yeah, the animation. The animation take a long time. You get the hang of it. It's not that hard. Uh, I don't want to get the hang of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm I'm almost 20,000 points. On what? On, like, the club. Oh, boy. That's good. Because I'm lucky, guys. Twitter no longer exists. Oh, thank God. Somebody, yeah. fi- somebody finally put that deathbed to rest. What, Twitter? Twitter. What a Why? what a disaster that was! Why a disaster? No, it's, it's the next disaster next to that is Facebook. Oh, mm. by by the way, don't 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 get discouraged because Buck don't update Facebook much. I don't get on Facebook. You get on Facebook, you're asking for trouble. Mm. You're asking for trouble. I I don't even update my Facebook stuff no more. Mm. Well, I love Elon Musk. Don't get me wrong. I love the dude. But, mm-hmm. no, he, he took a... I don't know why. I, I think, personally, I think that was a really bad investment on his part. Um, 
He, he, he took a disaster of a platform that had no control, no nothing. Uh, I got to be careful what I say. I'm live. Nope, I'm yeah. going gonna to keep my mouth shut on this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping my mouth. That's, uh, this is uh, You guys want to know how Buck really feels? You come to the Discord channel after hours and we'll talk about after it. After the party. Yeah, the after, the after party. Nope. <laughs> I'm politically correct across all venues. I just love what they're all doing. I want them to put my videos up everywhere. Mm -hmm. I want I want them to advertise on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Well, Twitter, Twitter wasn't anything to speak of. He's just trying to rebuild it. I like Eon. Mm -hmm. I I like Eon. Um, he's. Mm, he's trying to rebuild it into something decent. So give him give him some time. Mm -hmm. He's a pretty intelligent man with a lot of money. Okay, slow down. What did you just say? I got every here. You already? Of course you do. Of course you do. I keep telling you, Micah. Why do you keep catching all? Why do you keep catching all the fish? You have no reason to come back then. Um, why are you here then? <laughs> well, I have a lot of fish that I haven't caught here. But I, I don't. I don't want to catch them all, cause then I'll say, "Oh, I don't have any fish to catch over there." I never have that hunt. Oh, I've never caught the uni humpback yet. It's slend. I'm going after uh, that guy today. You know that gives mm -hmm. me gives me. So you rip through these guys. You you won't quit until you get them all. That's how I've, I've fished with you for a whole year. I know how you are. <laughs> You're like, I'm getting every one of them right now, Buck. Before they, they might be a war for them when you get them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, no, I always leave, I always leave some, even when I, when I, especially this river. This river, I really like to fish. And there's so many good spots that I haven't touched yet. And I purposely am like, ah, oh, that's that's going to be for another day over there. I know there's good fish over there. But I just stay away mm -hmm. from it because I want to be able to say a year from now, you know what, I got water in Mongolia that I haven't fished yet. And that'll be new yeah. to me. It'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. So I always never, hey, these are, these are definite things here because it's not like real life where the mm -hmm. fish will change and move. They don't change and move in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe someday they'll do that. They'll change the fish algorithms to where you know you, all the spots change. Uh, that would be really cool. <laughs> you know, like that would really make it real life. You know, because yes, Fish kind of frequent the same areas, but that that same fish isn't always in that same rock like it is here. I know, yeah. I know. If I go to that one rock over there, I can sit there and within ten minutes catch me a unique uni, Damon. I know that. Well, why? You know that's that's not real fishing. No. <laughs> Nope, I want to be able to get on the waterway and say, okay, where are they at today? Where did they move? You know, I know where I was catching them last week. Where did they migrate to this week? You know, did they move? Uh -huh. Yeah, did they move down the river a little bit? Uh, did they move up river a little bit? That's uh -huh. real life fishing. Uh -huh. and, and when they get that, when they get that coded like that, when they actually start getting guys in there to tell these developers, because I know these developers can do it. I know they can. It's just a random, 
where they spawn. Just make it random. Check on the weather and spawn versus the weather. Or, you know, give them any other algorithm that makes the spawn spot move. Give them, mm-hmm. give them 15, 20 spots that these fish could move, could actually spawn on in a given day. You know, then mm-hmm. you don't know where the hell the fish are going to spawn out. Maybe you get over here to that taming spot where we catch unis constantly. All of a sudden, there's no unis there. You fish there for an hour, ain't a uni. All right, he moved. Oh, bitch, now you got it. Now you got to find another spot. He's here somewhere. He's in here somewhere. Go find him. That would be, that would be awesome. Yeah. Yep. But they'll get there. Someday they'll get there. They're laying good groundwork right now. How much weight you guys got? I got a whopping 16 pounds tonight. Well, Twitter. They, they, they're banking on the fact that, that over 50% of their community are non-fishermen and it's a Mm -hmm. game. So Mm -hmm. if, if, if you make it all of a sudden too realistic, because Mm -hmm. everybody knows if you're not an excellent fisherman, excellent, Mm -hmm. you can go out in real life and get skunked. Where you you don't get yeah. shit that day. Well, mm-hmm. what would happen if somebody logged into this game and they mm-hmm. played, let's say, an eight-hour day? Like you would go out on a real fishing trip. You fished your ass off for eight hours, didn't catch a single fish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there wouldn't be too many guys play this game. Only mm-hmm. uh, only real fishermen would, because they're gonna say, "Damn." I, I ain't gonna let that happen to me again. But right. if, if they understood that the fish moved, and you know, because you can always, depending on what fish you're targeting, I mean, these are big waterways. There's a lot of spawning areas. I mean, you're always gonna catch fish if you're smart and you go. Mm-hmm. But it's the gamers that want to go to that same spot every time, catch twelve unis, and get out of the game and. Okay, they would stop playing the game if they got skunked mm-hmm. once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, now here's something that pisses me off. Now that you met, now that you're talking about this Bass Brigade, I'm I'm reading the text chats too, Micah. Mm-hmm. What what pisses me off about mobile? And because that's that's what they do t- to get more people, their, their their client base up on mobile. If you look, nobody plays mobile. No one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> because <clears throat> we're in first place. Of course, we're in Division 30. I mean, there's so many people on mobile, but yet nobody really games seriously with Fishing Planet on mobile. Uh, because we're, we're in Division 30 on mobile, Mm -hmm. which we make no Mm -hmm. points, but we have 800 points and we're in first place. I make, Mm -hmm. I make freaking 1800 points a day on, Mm -hmm. on steam. I make 1800 points a day on, Mm -hmm. on windows. And then at night I could go, if I wanted to, I could make fucking 1800 points a day on mobile. I'm not going to do that. It's just, you Mm -hmm. don't even, you can tell by the, you know, and as you get better and make more points, you get in higher divisions. But like on yeah. our, with our Scorpions, our Windows Club, we're in Division One. We're in the toughest division you can be in because we have mm-hmm. fishermen. We, you know, if if you don't make fifteen to twenty thousand club points in a week, you're going back. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just mm-hmm. that part. You're going back. 
You got you got to average twenty thousand club points a week. Mm -hmm. Um, that that's just how that works. You mm -hmm. um, on on Steam, it's less competitive. Less competitive. We're in division. We're in division seven on Steam, and you 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 only got to make like right now the the first place guy in our division seven has got twelve thousand points. So we have to make we're we're like right around eight thousand right now. We're we're gonna need to get to twelve thousand, thirteen thousand to move up. So that's mm -hmm. a thirteen thousand if you get yourself in the right division. Because if you're mm -hmm. fighting yourself up in the top divisions all the way through, like we are with the Scorpions, that screws you up. You, it it was better off to sandbag in the beginning and mm -hmm. end up in like division fifty five mm -hmm. and division. Because then you can get all the way to expert with no with no sweat, but when you mm -hmm. made when you made club points and you ended up in a high division right off the bat, now it's tough. Now you're fishing with you know we got twenty guys, twenty we got fourteen or something like that guys on on the Windows side of the house, and they all fish, but we can't compete because they're just you you got you you got to make too many club points. Mm -hmm. Mobile's easy. Mobile, where we're at, we could stay right where we're at, Bass Brigade, and just keep chugging right up. Stay right where we're mm -hmm. at. Go up. To, we'll we'll make it to the next division. We'll we'll make it up to rookie next week. Mm -hmm. And we don't, don't want to fish hard. Stay right at the mm -hmm. bottom of the rookie division. Hopefully, we'll stay in division thirty like we're in because we're in division thirty on the mobile app. Thirty divisions. Uh -huh. I mean, there's thirty guys. 30 divisions way better than you, but that don't keep you from moving up. You just, uh, you stay in that division where you're at and all you do is win enough. You score just enough points to move up. That's it. Mm -hmm. Don't blow nobody out. Right now we're blowing everybody out. We're, I mean, the second place team has 50 points. And we got over 800. Stop fishing. Stop mm -hmm. fishing right now. They're not catching us. Do not make any more club points because then we'll end up in low division in the next league and then we're going to do the same thing. We're only going to make enough points to, to move up. That's it. We don't want to get first. We don't want to get second. We just want to move up. That's it. Mm -hmm. Don't get crazy on the points. That's where we went wrong with the Scorpions on Windows. We soon mm -hmm. as, as soon as this whole club shit jumped out, we started making club points everywhere. And by the time the championship started, we were in the top division. We were competing with, with the top guys on Windows. And that's where we're at. And we're still competing with the top guys. We're still in division friggin' one. <laughs> cool. That's 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 the way you got to do it. Cause I figured this shit out. I did the wrong thing with the Scorpions. We jumped out. We tried to spank everybody and make a name for ourselves. And all that did was get us in the toughest division every week. We're we're in the toughest division. Mm -hmm. And you can sandbag your way through this whole damn club thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can sandbag. You can just stay. All you want to do is stay in your division, the lowest division possible, and just make enough to move up. And you will move all the way up, all the way up, mm -hmm. clear to clear at the bottom of, of the whole totem pole. Mm -hmm. and then you'll get that trophy. And then once you make the big trophy, who the hell cares? Then we go back to fishing normal. Once And once everybody gets the legendary... We go back to piss on the clubs. We go back to fishing normal. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're a force to be reckoned with, buddy. No problem there. We are. Mm -hmm. We just gotta. We just gotta be smart. We're a force to be reckoned with on every platform. Uh -huh. And we're just getting started. I mean, hell, mm -hmm. this whole the whole lodge is only one year old. We're competing against mm -hmm. we're competing against guys that have been fishing in this game for five, six, seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. We're young. We're young blood. Mm -hmm. We'll get them. 
-hmm. Patience is a virtue. Mm -hmm. You taught me that, Micah, to be patient. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You did. I mean, I always have a problem with being patient. I want everything now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I remember you telling me at the Amazon, you'll get him, Buck. You'll get him. Mm -hmm. And then you would say, fish with a buzz bait. <laughs> 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 you need to put a buzz bait on, Buck. <laughs> oh, Mike, I don't know how many times I'm like, and you would catch those fish right in front of me on that bait, and I refuse to put it on. I'm going to catch them. Uh -huh. Yep, I'm going to catch them my way, damn it. And buzz bait is not the bait supposed to be and you'd catch them catch them on a buzz bait hey we're so busy now micah you remember that was a year ago when it was just me mm -hmm. and you it was just like buck like buck i think i had 20 subscribers back then mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what <laughs> Yeah, and we would go out every night just, okay, where are we going? You'd always ask me, where are we going tonight, Buck? Thank you, my mm -hmm. friend. Thank you. Thank you for getting me through the game. Thank me for teaching me what you knew about this game. I, I, I take it. I write everything down. I remember everything. I'm terrible at memory because I'm old. That's why I write everything down. I, that's why I have to go to notes. I write notes about everything. Mm-hmm. No more yeah. until next week. Yes, we are. Wait a minute. I just wanted well, to make a point of it. Yes, we are until next week. No more club points on mumble tonight. Atta boy. Atta boy, Vass. That's what we want to do, man. Unless, of course, somebody gets crazy. Now, keep an eye on it. I'll be keeping an eye on it. Now, if somebody all of a sudden, I mean, it's a Saturday night. They only got 24 hours, and, and this week's mm -hmm. over. So I think we're in mm -hmm. good shape. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you're if you're gonna fish, you don't even have to fish in a club room on mobile right now. We don't want we don't we don't want to force ourselves up any higher. Hey, Micah, you should come join us. I know you I know you don't play often on mobile, but none of us do. But you should you should join. Uh, are you are you? Are you um, yeah, are you still playing on mobile at all? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm waiting for, for the that going in too. Well, I mean, the the club over there is Frumpy Buckle. Get yourself in over there at least. At least when we need All a couple. Time. Yeah, when we need a couple points, that'd be nice. I I can't. I mean, I'm in the morning. morning. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I only well, fish. I'm in the morning. No, well, I don't. Morning. I don't either. Yeah. I I only fish, and I I never. I've I've never been on it, but. Since since Bass Brigade went out there and created a club, I feel obligated to help him out there. So I try to get on mm -hmm. late at night, at least fish for mm -hmm. half an hour and get make a hundred, mm -hmm. make a hundred, two hundred points. But yeah. it's it's easier over there. We don't have to. We don't we don't have to. I, yeah, I'm gonna check out your I'm gonna check out your channel, Bass. I am. I just haven't. I've been too freaking busy, <laughs> to tell you the truth. One of these mm. days, one of these days, I'm gonna get an hour that I can actually maybe even create a new oh, video of mm. my own. I mean, I'm down, I'm down videos. I I've got five story boarded up that I haven't even been able to get mm. to because of this club stuff. So that's what's gonna happen here in the near future, guys. We've got a club. We're gonna this week. We're gonna. I'm I'm gonna give it my best tonight. Tonight and tomorrow we end up where we end up. Um, mm -hmm. Next week, next week's going to be tough. Buck's not going to fish much. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I got three or four. Ah. Yeah, I got three or four videos I need to put out. Um, Got to do that. Well, we're no. not. I'm not catching any. I'm not catching any any pike down here at all. I got twenty minutes. I got to make a little bit of money. I think I'm gonna head down there and see if I can catch a payment. Uh, yeah, well, that 
Yeah, I saw that, and I said, Buck, you know, you're you're wasting your time, or you got to catch a little bit. Of, you got to catch something. Yeah. All right, I'm coming. I'm not leaving. Press on. I'm going to have to get this boat in the shop. It doesn't want to start very well. Look out, Jules. Well, let's go after some taming, Jules. Cliff or on the rock behind? Not here, somewhere, uh, somewhere else. Well, you got to stay back here a little bit. If you get out there past that log, the damn current will get you. It's the only, mm -hmm. the only spot you can. Uh, All right, mm -hmm. uh, I have no idea where my damn bottom rods are. Oh, I'm all pissed off about this. Uh -huh. Not <laughs> in there. All right, here we are. Mm -hmm. Need to go a little bigger than five watt hook. I, want I should have got one with five watt. I know, but I want a bigger fish. I know. I want to get the bigger fish. I know, but I want a bigger fish. Okay, I'm back. You know what's wrong with the cannon spot? Yeah, we moved. We're tired of fishing for nothing. We're Come over here. Come over here. Oh, I'm coming. Why does it pull my poles out? Ah. Uh, where the hell is there? He is. Right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. Hey, you know you can just back the area and come over this way. Okay. Hmm? I keep a leg Oh. <laughs> Day. Oh, yeah. I got to do the moment of anger. It's pretty easy so far. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go by a few weeks or so. Uh, well, yeah, it'll, it'll change a little bit, as, but as long as we keep sandbagging, We'll be in good shape. I'm telling you, dude, you got a sandbag in this thing. Mm -hmm. If you want the trophies. If you're all about mm -hmm. club points, well then, okay, jump in there with the big boys. And we'll, you'll get, you know, we'll get our ass smacked every week. All we want is the mm -hmm. damn trophy. All we want to do mm -hmm. is, we want to hang that trophy in, in the friggin' Discord Lodge. Yeah, our, our club made it all the way to friggin' Legendary. I don't care mm. what I don't care what division of legendary we get the trophy from. Yeah. Just just get it. Like right now, I want uh, I want that yeah. Ruby trophy from Master on Steam really bad. And if I have to stay up for twenty four straight hours tonight, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure we're in third freaking place that we get that trophy come Sunday night. Yeah. Where you guys want to go Please. now? We're on Steam Sunday night. Tomorrow night we're on Steam. Where you want to go yeah. fish? Where you want to fish? Um, maybe I am on level twenty-two. Level twenty-two. Anywhere. 
Mm. Well, we got to stay. Anyway, Okay. All right. I'll, I'll pick. I'll pick somewhere under twenty-two. I'm working on it, though. I know you are. Mike, you want to see me go, man? I'm on. Hmm. I'm. I love it myself. Yeah, well, she's got two. She's got two um, systems up at the same time, Mike. Cause she's fishing. She fishes two platforms at the same damn time. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes three. Sometimes three. where the uni taming is. Uh, they can be in there when we're trying to have. Wait, am I? Oh. No, it can't. I don't want to. Uh, uh, no, it, no, it can't. Uh, but Super, Super Dave says it's here. Uh, Super Dave uh, says uh, it's uh, here. That's where it is. Oh, wait, I gotta get my big boy. Okay. I'm drifting away again. Wait a minute. I got big fish. I got big fish over here and I'm drifting the wrong way. Get it in there and get back down. Time for taming here. You ain't caught one. <laughs> Did I even catch a northern bike? I don't think I caught a bike. Or any of those guys. Oh, stop mm. it. Huh? I couldn't have possibly caught any pike. I only, I still only have 16 pounds of fish. There we go. There's a taming. Maybe a bad move, but I'm going to try it. I want to. I thought I had, um... I thought a visiting town um, but my mom, the mom won't work on it. No, I'm dying on a 24 pound. 
baby. Wow. Baby. Mm -hmm. Get that damn thing. Yankin's background. That's what I love about these purple, purple boats. You fish right off the back of them. Okay, we'll float in the race. Maybe we'll get a hit. Before we float away too far. Yankin's that way. We're getting that rock. We're getting away. Damn it, Buck. Um. Not gonna be a good hookup. Won't be a good hookup. Alright, get ready to do this. Where is it at? Go in there again. Get one out of there. Oh, oh boy, here we go. What? Got bitch on, Joel. Oh, oh no. bitch on. Bitch on. There we go. We got one. Hey, oh, oh, here we go. Okay, I'm She'll be the, the, the special dragger all the way up the sled. <clears throat> okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. Wow. Next. 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 <laughs> Send you a video to you on what we have to look forward to in the rookie league. Okay, buddy. I'll check it out. Is that no. mobile? Yeah, mobile. I guess. Oh, the, yeah, mobile Wang is quantum uh, plus, right? Quantum plus plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quantum plus. No, it's Frumpy Buckle. Quantum. That's the club. My, yeah. My mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Frumpy Space Buckle. Yeah. There's a Damon. He's a little bigger than 39 pounds. Mm. Not much though. Maybe about no. 41, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah. Oh, what do I have to do here? 44. <laughs> 44. Mm. Wow, that didn't work. That didn't work too good. Mm. I'll try the I'll try the downstream approach. See if we can get him this huh? way. Oh look at that big old monster grayling jumping out of there. Uh oh, Buck's going the wrong way pretty fast. Going the wrong way pretty fast, my friend. Well, I have a little bag over there. What do we got? We got fish mid column. I don't believe that fish ticker. Don't believe it, fellas. Don't believe it. <clears throat> it's all a bunch of facade. Oh, 
my buck to pull away too far. Get her in there and throw her back up there. We're still floating small. You can still reach out. Oh, look at that big gray one. Ah, yeah. Um. Get latched on so we don't have to freak hey, out. Hey, hey, hey. What'd you get? Mm -hmm. No problem. My boat is going back. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, Buck. You're in the rocks mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, you're in the rocks. You're in trouble. Look at the size of that grayling. Mm -hmm. Man. That's a uni. All right, Buck. This is, we're floating way too fast. Get her mm. in. Get her in. We only got eight mm. minutes. You gotta catch another fish in eight minutes. Uh. Time, don't lose them. Hey, hey Buck. What? Oh, yeah, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Well, if you're not in the boat, it's a little late for getting in it now if he's all cooked up. Now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? I can't in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Oh, you got him at least. 52 pounder. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm floating away. I'm going to, I'm going in the reverse direction of the flow of the river. I love this. Mm. Yeah. I'm going the other way. The river goes the other way. And I'm I'm floating away from my spot. I'm floating yeah. up upstream. Mm. That's insane. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, Okay, Buck, you're way far away now, buddy. Uh, how the hell are you floating <laughs> upstream? How are you floating <laughs> upstream? The river flows towards that rock. Mm. Do I have a boat still going backwards? Is my motor? Oh, that's what's happening. Even though it says zero percent, the motor's still running, pulling me backwards. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's a bug. What do you mean, why? Well, because I had my boat shut, because I have the engine running, I had my boat mm -hmm. set at zero percent. And mm -hmm. it, it was still running, oh. going, going backwards. Mm -hmm. uh. Running backwards? No. <laughs> now we're in control. Going for a ride. Oh, there you are, bud. All right, we got five minutes. Five more minutes. You may get that. that. Oh, man, for him. Five more minutes. Oh, Bass, Bass Brigade, you, have, you haven't been here yet to Mongolia. Oh, man. He was going backwards the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It could be, I, if I was set on zero, friggin' river flows towards that rock. I should be drifting that way, not the other way. Mm hmm. This is a great place to fish, Bass. Great place to fish. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I, I mean, so cool. I, I love I love to float down through the other things and, and fish for the the bacos. Uh That's that's a lot of fun. Get get yourself a nice jig winner, thirteen pound, and just float down through those rocks, down through those channels. You catch humpback mm -hmm. whitefish. Um, mm -hmm. Beautiful. Uh, the common dace. Another another good fighting fish. You have a lot of fun. Do we have here? What's that? Do we, do do we, we have, have the fish here? The common dace here? The dace. Yeah, the dace. Yeah, the dace is here. Yep. No, no in our thing. In what? In the nice thing. Oh, I I don't know. We're not catching them tonight, but no, they're they're on this river. No, I'm talking about here in North America now. No, we don't have that fish nowhere in North America. No. Not in North America. No, not that common days. Yeah. So now we're in North America. Well, I think they're. Mm -hmm. I think they're in. Well, they may only be Whoa. in. I thought they might have been in Octuba because the Russian mm -hmm. they're they're basically Russian waters. So it's in uh, the it's in the Russian waterways. Uh, so um, um Siberia. Nice sixty six pounder, oh, Josh. I got black one. Oh, well, yeah, we got three of us in here. Yeah, good deal. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, I would I would definitely suggest if you come if you're coming to Mongolia that you have mm -hmm. you have bigger sticks than level forty eight. Fine. Yeah, you should have bigger sticks. Otherwise, I mean, you're gonna have a lot of fun, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to, I wouldn't try to get into these tamings. Mm -hmm. No. There are like these big huge tamings on me. Like now you can, like I said, though. This heavy chaser is a four, level forty-two pole. So you, mm -hmm. as long as you're in a boat, if you're in a boat, then you can handle the, all the way up to the unis. You're you're mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. But why well, not? not when you're on land. Not from land. You don't want you don't want to try to you don't want to try to land a uni taming with a fifty-six pound pole from land. Mm -hmm. You gotta yeah. get off. I thought I had a bigger one with me. Jules does that. Jules is the one who fishes with 40 pound poles from land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she lands him. One minute, Mark. One minute. One minute. All right. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to get my trophy or uni taming tonight. Don't tap on us. Don't get it. Got one more minute. <coughs> this is here or not. I don't know. I floated kind of far away from my hole. I don't think I'm going. <coughs> I don't think I'm going to get one over here. Maybe at the party. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Oh, I think I blew my my anger now. I think I put my anger down. Um, <laughs> they can't run. Oh. Anchor, wow. anchor down fighting Tamins is is a no no. Been there, done that. <laughs> I know. All right, I'm pulling my line in here so it doesn't start pulling off. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't start going off. Okay, let me go do this one. Do, 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 do. Uh-huh. do okay. Well, switch over there. All right, guys. Well, Buck didn't, Buck didn't get any trophy tamer unis. We got a few unis out here. We got a few Lennox. Got a few. That's what we were hunting. We were hunting Northern Pike. We got some unis out there. Mike got jewels. All got unis. So, you know where to go get them. Um, I had a great time fishing, as I always do. I love hanging out with everybody. Giving everybody my crap. Gotta love it. Um, this is a great place to fish. Come here and enjoy it. Make sure you bring some right gear, you know. If you're going after these guys, you want 20 pound gear and you want some heavy gear for the Damon. So we went yeah. through all that. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember, hit that like button. It helps us out here on the channel, all of us here. Um, subscribe. You know, lately mm -hmm. with the club stuff, I haven't been doing a lot of videos, but I'm planning on getting back into the videos here. We'll, we'll get back mm -hmm. up to snuff here, guys. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Never, ever give up the fight. Pop, Stu Pop Stewart, I love you. I'll see you later, bye. Into the creek.